what's up it's your boy Remus and welcome back to another episode or video of the RB talk series right and in this video I wanted to talk a bit about the um, Anthony Yod versus Kovale fight for the light heavyweight title you know I was just I, uh, you know just browsing on Instagram and whatnot through boxing content and I saw one post kind of um, they posted uh, about Anthony Yod's training and they basically said uh, Anthony um, what did it say he said uh, yeah, Anthony Yard preparing for the fight, blah blah blah. But then it, it it made a little slight dig that I don't know if most people looking at it would catch. But but he said many people are questioning his pedigree ahead of the fight, right? And it's funny because when a critic usually says many people, they don't usually mean many people. They're talking about themselves, <laughs> right? Because who who is the many? A lot of the time. But it, it's interesting to me that people don't realize that uh, uh, when when you're a young fighter and you're coming up and then you're challenging for a title people question you question you in a very weird way because they're basically saying based on what you've shown so far we don't think you can win the fight but the whole point of championship fights is to then show us what you're made of me personally right I think this is a very tough fight for, for him, but it's one in which if he wins, he gets the credibility, right? Especially because there are critics like that who, you know, who are expecting you to lose. Me personally, I really don't know who's gonna win. And I, uh, my head mostly goes with Kovalev just because he's got the experience. You know, he, he, he gave Andre Wood tough fights. Um, he's actually, even though he's a brawler and stuff, like, oh, people look at him as a brawler. I think he's got more skill than people give him credit for. There's this, like, lead um, punch that he throws. I think it's from... Uh, yeah, he throws, like, a, a lead, and he steps into the, the lead as he leaps forward and shifts forward um, with, his, with, with his other foot on the other side. I think little tricks like that show you that he has tools in his arsenal that separate him from other fighters because I think that's one of the main things that separate fi good fighters from great fighters is those little tricks that only they can basically do um, Anthony Yard on the other hand um, he's still young he's coming up but then this is his chance it's like a fight in which the young guy you know who has more to prove against the old guy who's proven that he still has it left right so I can't really say too much based on what Anthony Yard can do just simply because I really haven't watched too much too much of him but more because of what I've watched from him he hasn't had the opportunity to show it because of the level of opponent so I'm curious to know what you think like who's gonna win the fight um, what each fight is gonna bring to the fight and how it's gonna go and then the last thing I'll say is that I, what I like about Anthony Yard is the fact that he does value skills and technique and stuff like that so you can tell, like you're always gonna know a guy who prides that stuff has a better chance of winning than the alternative. So I think that's gonna play a big factor in it. Like his ability to stay defensive when he gets hurt or his ability to stay cool and defensive and stay strategic and try to stay slick even when the heat and the pressure rises. But I wanna know what you think, right? Comment down below, let Remus know. Let's have a good discussion. Also, the last thing I'll say is I'm putting videos like this up on Patreon first. So if you want to sign up for Patreon, go over there, check it out. I'm going to be putting up a lot of videos there, you know, on the different tiers and different levels. There'll be different videos you can access. So for, for example, if you're a fighter, um, you know, sign up to get the mental coaching stuff. If you're just a fight fan, you don't want to do that. You can just stay on the much lower tiers. Um, and just get like these type of videos and stuff. So that's it. See you on the next.